Hey YouTubers, Bull Bear here. And I did a video on Carmageddon, which is the subprime lending in the automobile industry. And now I want to do one on uh, subprime in the housing industry. It is back, folks. I work in the real estate industry. I've been a broker for many, many years. And there was a very interesting article in the Wall Street Journal about subprime lending being back. And I know this for a fact because I did a deal recently where the client um, went to one of these secondary uh, uh, money dealers, um, basically, and uh, got financing that way uh, because their um, FICA scores were subprime. It was basically a subprime loan. So, folks, what's happening now is the banks are saying, oh, we aren't doing any more ninja loans or any more subprime loans. Well, ninja loans, no income, um, uh, you know, no job. Um, those aren't around anymore in the uh, in the housing industry. In the auto industry with Carmageddon, I'll put a link up above and you can check out that one. Those are back, folks. But in uh, the housing industry, it's not. But what they're doing is they're lending out money to people that really shouldn't get it. Loan to value ratios are super high. You know, people pay, spending you know forty, fifty percent of their uh, their income on the the mortgage. Uh, again, they have outrageous uh, financing fees, and some prime lending is back uh, with a vengeance. Uh, it's exactly the way it was in two thousand eight, and you're not hearing about this at all from uh, from mainstream media. Of course, you would not hear that from them. Um, you know, because according to the mainstream media, everything is fine. But you're you're seeing um, as much, if not more, according to this article in the Wall Street Journal, um, subprime lending is back. These are just secondary uh, money, private money groups. And it's interesting. They get the money right from the big banks. So they're acting like as this um, uh, little subsidiary of the banks, basically. And it's lending the banks money. And the banks have no money. You can go back to, I'll put another link to my video on the repo market, how banks have to borrow millions of dollars, you know, and, and uh, there's no money. That's why the Fed is doing QE and giving these banks, um, you know, uh, billions of dollars. Uh, I listen to Uneducated Economist. He's awesome. Um, he did a little article on this and kind of turned me on to that and gave me the... Um, just gave me the impetus to do this uh, this video. So subprime lending is back, and it's just really dangerous, folks. And we're not hearing about it. Uh, you have hedge funds that have also come in, and they've purchased uh, millions of American homes and securitized the debt and sold it on Wall Street. I did a, a housing bubble video, and I'll, I'll um, put a link up there. To that housing bubble video you can check that out but uh, we live in really dangerous times it's actually worse than it was uh, the amplitude has been skewed a lot more than it was in 2008 so I'm anticipating a, a massive correction very soon um, because the system is not sustainable therefore it cannot be sustained you know and I um, you know, I watch uh, uneducated economist he's great and um, Gregory Manorino, he's great too. You know, I recommend you go over to their channels and subscribe to them. They're great guys. Uh, just really honest truth tellers. And uh, that's that's all I want to accomplish with this, this channel is just to tell the truth and let people know what's going on. So if you like my channel, please subscribe and please share this video and tell people Subprime is back. And I'll talk to you guys later.